China is in panic mode. Oh, now he goes again. So he will show he uh he will show something that happened recently, mainly negative about China, and then uh he will point out the problem and then sh um make a compilation compilation of uh you know consists of this uh negative videos and then say something like oh this is china you know this is the real china and if something happened good he won't show you he won't even show you in this his video and um uh, he's just trying to criticizing china and it is, seems to become a pattern with him he always picks out those negative things to say and then tries to convince you how terrible china is now let's keep looking at uh, let's keep watching his video and i'll try to debunk his video and tell you what is what it is really like okay let's keep going chinese murder season has gone critical incidents of random mass knife attacks are on the rise i've already seen this video on the chinese internet this guy was asked to give way uh give up his seat but he was too tired and didn't want to so he had a sudden outburst of negative emotions and broke down frequent public mental breakdowns and revenge against society attacks are happening daily daily huh i'm pretty sure you can find a lot of like negative things that happen in public if you search countries like india which is uh, being the most populated country in the world now and america the U united states um, even though it has like a lot less population compared to china but you know since the quantity is there and you can easily of course you can easily find things like this happen every single day because it's almost like you're t telling us oh this thing is happened in on earth <laughs> let's keep watching his video Oh, uh, speaking of the foreigner thing, you know how many Chinese foreigners in the United States has been attacked? Huh? Why don't you search about that and tell us? I'm just going to fast forward his video because a lot of things just keep rolling on. It's just all about the same thing. This month, we had those four college professors from America attacked and stabbed in a xenophobic knife attack in a tourist area of Jilin City. Yes. Speaking of those four foreigners has been stabbed in China, in Jilin province, first of all, I want to express my sorry to them. Uh, no one wants to see that thing happen in China or anywhere else, but this has happened and you can't change that. And it happens everywhere around the world. I'm s I'm, but I have never seen this serpent Z A say anything like, Oh, I'm sorry to say that people, uh, Chinese people in the United States has been stabbed or killed. I'm sorry about that. You know, I've never seen his video talking about things like that. Allow me to post for a sec. So what does this video has anything to do with what he is trying to say? This car is driving weirdly. And yes, so what? But why then are we suddenly seeing an explosion of social media influences shouting out as loud as they can that China is safe and America sucks and China is good? Well, it's pretty simple, really. All right. Um, to be honest, as a Chinese person, I lived in China for many, many years, and I believe China is one of the safest country in the world. And I still believe it. Even I'm living abroad now in New Zealand, but I still believe it because I have experienced it and I know exactly how it is. Even though this guy, Serpent ZA, he claimed that China, you know, he has seen so many like terrible things happen by himself, it's what he said. But you know what? If you just focus on those things, if you just try to search on the internet about United States or yes, India, I'm sorry to say that, but you will find tons of shit like, like that, you know? And to be honest, myself, I didn't see anything like murder in, in, in China happened myself. I have never seen that. I only watched them on news. So 
this guy, you know, I think he's just trying to、uh, blame China and trying to exaggerate, you know, something bad happened in China. Or his this guy is making money above it. China's propaganda machine has to try to hide it. Well, speaking of this China's propaganda machine, I tell you what. What about you, Serpent Da? This guy, he is like those anti-China propaganda machine. You know what? This is how I define you because it is what it is. He's making money on it. My friends in Shanghai hadn't heard anything about the stabbings in their own subway station when I asked them, and it seemed as if the news simply wasn't going to be reported. But it seems that after a fierce battle to keep the news suppressed, the Chinese state media finally relented and released a small statement, which reveals little to no detail. First of all, I have to admit that yes, China do have this censorship, strong censorship. But you know what? China has so many things happening every single day, and it can't. The media can't focus on one particular. How did you know it? It's because media, because people keep publishing it, so it's there. So everybody knows. So what? What are you still trying to say? It's already there.、It's、so weird. This guy is still trying to use this as an example and to prove how poor the Chinese internet is,、uh, be- because of the censorship. Of stabbing and murder videos I've seen from this year alone, I could find almost no news coverage of them in all Chinese state media. This guy, he's lying. I don't know if he's trying to do this intentionally or not. But if I search in Chinese about this, seeing every single activity that he provided in this video, I can give you evidence online about this and that. I don't know why he said he couldn't find evidence online about this stabbing or whatever he's trying to say, you know. So this guy, what do you call anti-China propaganda machine? <laughs> Freight level to level three, the second worst travel advisory level. First of all, you have to know China and the United States government; they're they're kind of against each other. So it's no wonder how American media is starting to push things like, "Oh, China is not safe," that sort of thing. And the same to Chinese media. Chinese media, you know, when you read those Chinese media websites, China, they, when they say about something about the United States, are stabbing, murdering, gunshots, whatsoever. This guy is still using government manipulated information, trying to tell you that China is not safe place to live. I don't believe in that shit. I've lived in China longer than you. But remember that the government keeps pushing the narrative that foreigners and specifically Americans are the cause of all of China's societal ills and struggles, and this translates to xenophobia and hatred. Sorry to see that happen, but I tell you what, every country has a group of people who are brainwashed by political manipulation, but most people are rational. Society is under massive strain, and as someone who worked in the medical field in China, I know for a fact that China has no mental health facilities, no therapists, no psychiatrists. He doesn't know it. Doesn't mean there is no mental health facilities in China. My ex-girlfriend she went to mental health facilities in China. Why? Why? Why this guy is keep lying? If you don't know, you say you don't know. You don't say, "Oh, there is no such things." How come such a big country doesn't have health, mental health facilities? This is a joke, Serpent Zia. You know what you're saying? It's like, "Oh, China doesn't have eggs. China doesn't have chicken." <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Just do your research before saying this. And I know China has a lot of things to improve, as China is still a developing country. You know, but what I see is a lot of things are going to be better and better. And this guy, Serpent Zia, he's just trying to mud the water. Wait, mud the water? I hope that's a correct sentence to say. 
But um, yeah, um, I'm not trying to and that's another video from Serpent's AA, and uh, this is my debunk, debunk to his particular video, and if you like the video, please click like button and share this voice, because this guy, he's trying to